One last comment on the, the bill overall, Mr. Chair. You know, I've been around here a long time, seven terms now. And what I always say to people when these big proposals come out is I say, you know, what we do at the legislature is we do things in increments. We don't do big, broad sweeping proposals when you look at the past and the history of the legislature because we are such a big organization. This bill, and you've heard the, the term in Congress a lot, but is like a Christmas tree. I mean, it has every kind of reform in it all at once, Representative Downey, which isn't effective. Zero-based budgeting, federal offset, tax analytics, salary freeze, reclassifying jobs, performance appropriation bonds, performance pay, the savvy program, early retirement. We can't do it all. And all the bills that we're seeing from the majority are like this. I guess it's so you guys get to go home and say that you introduced bills and you had a vote on them to do reform, but there is just no way that this legislature can pass all of those items and make the state budget work. So I think it, it isn't realistic, it isn't responsible, and it's phony. And Representative Downey, I think when you, when you govern, you have a responsibility to move the state forward. Adding all of this in, it just, it's just not gonna happen. You can't possibly do this and $300 million uh, in health and human services of, of, of waivers and all the things are being proposed. When we governed, we did things in increments. It's always been done in increments. Um, so I wish you would pick one thing or two things and maybe as, as uh, Chair Abler said, they're heading towards May 27th. Maybe this is about putting it all out like a smorgasbord and eventually we're gonna wind up with one or two of these, but it's just unrealistic. 